Hello everybody, Slim Kirby here. Welcome to another Mega Man playthrough for my Mega Man Marathon until my computer gets repaired. Today we're going to be tackling the third installment of the Mega Man franchise, Mega Man 3. And this is probably my favorite game of the series. Well, one of my favorites. Uh, it's kind of a tie between Mega Man 3 and Mega Man 6. But uh, this is still a really fun game. It's a very uh, well-renowned game. I think it's actually another one of the more popular games of the series. Uh, like Mega Man 2. So it should be a lot of fun. So let's go ahead and get started here. Well, looks like we're going to try to be on the top of our game as we climb out of the shadows. The adventure probably will still be hard though. The enemies will be attracted to us like magnets until we burst into a spark of flames. Hope you guys are not afraid of snakes or needles because we have a long ride ahead of us. Also, hey look, Gemini Man. Uh, okay, let's go ahead and get started. Uh, first Robot Master we're going to take on is Top Man. Top Man, I feel like, is one of the easier Robot Masters to take on. At least in my opinion. Uh, easiest ones to take on with your normal buster weapon, anyway. That's kind of what I mean. Uh, there seems to be some, like, small little flickering problems, uh... Not that I'm surprised, we are playing an old NES game after all. Uh, there's not going to be uh, perfect visuals, I'm sure. Uh, in fact, a lot of the older playthroughs that I did just a few days ago were also kind of pixely in some aspects, and uh, glitchy, and some enemies were disappearing. That's just, that's just what you need to come to expect in these old games. It's just not really a lot we can do about it, unfortunately. So the theme behind uh, Top Man stage are, well, they're tops. There's lots of tops everywhere. Also, Mega Man has a new move. He has his slide move. Uh, it's going to be kind of interesting to get used to this because for the old NES games, you actually have to hold down the uh, hold down down and then also press the jump button to slide. Uh, I played the PS2 Anniversary Collection before I did this, so uh, that one uh, there was a slide button. So, I might need to get used to that, but I'll try my best for you guys. We also have a new invention called the Rush Coil. Mega Man has a dog now. He has a dog. His name is Rush, and he can perform some uh, very helpful tasks for us, actually. And this one, he can turn into a spring, and you can jump on him to get a little extra height. I also don't like the way the menu kind of encroaches on the bottom of the screen here. It's kind of... Uh, Kind of annoying, but I suppose it could be worse. So I guess I should probably get into the story of this game. Uh, Dr. Light and Dr. Wily are actually working together. Uh, Dr. Wily claims he's a changed man and he's no longer going to be carrying out his evil schemes anymore. You guys may not believe him. You probably shouldn't believe him, but... Uh, Dr. Light, he's very easy to forgive, I guess. And uh, they've started working together on a lot of robots. They're even working on a giant peacekeeping robot named Gamma. But they're having some problems. There are some energy crystals that have been uh, seized by eight of their new creations that have uh, gone insane and have took the crystals for their own. And uh, those are the robots we're going off to stop. I personally think there's a little more to the story than just that, but uh, we're just going by what we know so far from Mega Man's eyes. So we have to put a stop to those robots, grab the crystals, and uh, see if we can help the doctors with their progress, I guess. Also, wow, I'm getting a lot of free lives today. I'll take it, I mean, definitely. Also, now we're battling cats. This is probably what I was thinking of in the Mega Man 2 playthrough when we were up against those wolves. I was just probably thinking of the cats. Here, the tigers. The tigres, as some might call them. No! Oh, That's annoying. There we go, okay. See, I am okay with succeeding. Success is a good thing. Success, honestly, we need a lot more of these days. Also, these tops are getting kind of annoying. 
You die. You die now. You die now. I am Mega Man. Me jump high. Okay, he doesn't jump that high. He needs a dog to jump high. I mean, come on, Mega Man. Get with the program. Who needs a dog to jump high? That's just ridiculous. So if you were to go a different route with the Robot Masters, uh, Top Man's weakness would actually be Hard Man's weapon, but we do not have that. So we are going to take him out this way. He spins like a top. How uh, creative. And he also shoots three giant tops at you. In this battle, you can definitely see how useful the slide move is, though. Ah, dang it. Went a little too early there. But yeah, the slide move is very, very helpful in this fight. And you honestly start to see the usefulness of this feature from this game forward. It's only going to get more useful, honestly. Ah, dang it. He seems to move in very random timing patterns, which kind of throws me off a little bit. Nonetheless, though, I think we got him. Yep. Okay, well, there we go. We have our first weapon of the game. We have the Top Spin. That's right, there's a weapon called Top Spin. It's, it's actually one of Mega Man's moves in uh, Super Smash Bros. 4, so... They have found a use for it outside of this game, believe it or not. There's your password if you want to play along. But next, we're going to go to... Hmm. I almost kind of like feel like making things a little different here and going for a different Robot Master. Maybe after this next one. Let's go ahead and go in order still. Uh, the next one I'm going to go after is Shadow Man here. Shadow Man is a cool ninja-looking robot master. He should be a lot of fun to take out, honestly. But we'll have to actually get there first. I know this doesn't really look like a Shadow Man stage yet, but... Just give us a moment, we'll be there. Oh, but what's this? Another robot. You're not Shadow Man. You're Jump Around Like an Idiot Man. Okay, well. That was interesting, to say the least. To say the absolute least, anyway. I have a feeling we'll be seeing that robot a lot. I don't know, I just have this hunch. I just have this hunch of mine that... We haven't seen the last of that guy. Also, stay away from the grenade robots. They explode and they hurt, so... Hurting is not a good thing. Hurting hurting is rarely a good thing. Dang it. Ouch! I exploded, Mega Man! I have to go all the way to the beginning. I didn't even make it halfway through, jeez. Okay, I seem to be doing this a lot better this time, because I'm actually taking my time and being patient. You know, that thing that I told you you should be doing in the very first Mega Man game that I'm not really following here? Yeah, you guys know what I'm talking about. So while I'm uh, going through this stage, there are a few things I wanted to mention in regards to these uh, Mega Man playthroughs. Uh, first thing I want to mention is I did have some problems in the uh, second Mega Man game. Uh, a lot of you guys probably noticed the volume was really, really low in the videos. I do apologize for that, but there's unfortunately not a lot I could have done about it. Uh, apparently Capcom is claiming the music, which honestly they have a right to do. I mean, dang it. Why am I sucking today? I'm not doing very good today at all. Anyway, Capcom is claiming the music in these videos, and even though they have the right to do that, I feel like you guys are actually uh, being punished for that. 
because it's actually blocking viewership of my videos in some areas of the world, mostly Germany, but I've had a few complaints from others who, you know, don't live in Germany, so it's not just Ger- My god, why am I sucking so badly today? It's not even- ugh. Okay, hold on. Okay, so I'm actually gonna finish this room before I try to continue talking about whatever I was talking about before. Doing platforming on small platforms like this, probably a better idea to be focused during a section like this before we move forward. Because, I mean, really, this section isn't that hard. Okay. There we go, finally. See, that wasn't so bad. And I believe we're actually almost at the end, too, so... It really goes to show you how close I actually was. So yeah, Shadow Man's weakness, as you probably figured out, it is Topspin. Topspin works in a very unique way, though. You have to jump and spin. So you hit the attack button when you're jumping. That's not a projectile. It's not a charge move. It's just a jump attack. Does a lot of good damage to him, though, as you could plainly see right there. But yeah, that's uh, going to be it for Shadow Man. We're going to get the Shadow Blades for our weapon. And we also get the Rush Marine. Another add-on to uh, Rush that we actually can make use of in another level. But with that out of the way, we're going to move on to not the master that is weak to Shadow Man's weapon... We're actually going to be going a slightly different route. We're going to be going to Snake Man. Why? Because snakes. That's that's the reason why. But while we're going through this stage, I'll actually try to finish up what I was trying to talk about earlier. So yeah, Capcom, It's uh, they're claiming music on my videos, which is... Again, I understand why they do it. It makes sense. I mean, it's their material. But... There's, I feel like there's several different ways you can claim music and put, you know, claims on videos. Because, you know, not all claims make the videos unwatchable in some parts of the world. And I think it's kind of stupid to prevent some countries or just places in general from watching. That's like free exposure for your game. So I don't really understand why it did that. And all four videos of Mega Man 2 got claimed in some way, so... I had to uh, re-edit all of them, I had to make the music super low. I mean, you can still hear it if you listen hard enough, but... Still, Mega Man 2 is some great music, and... Honestly, if Capcom just claimed the videos, not made it blocked in other countries, I would have been fine with it. You know, I don't need the monetization for, you know, my Mega Man 2 videos, I just... I kind of wish my viewers didn't have to be punished for them wanting to claim something. I think that's just really, really stupid. So yeah, I do apologize about that. I haven't uploaded these videos yet, obviously, so I don't know if I'm going to have uh, similar issues with this game. My guess is probably, but it's weird that I didn't have any for Mega Man 1. So I don't know, I guess we'll wait and see... I feel like we will have some problems, though. I mean, Mega Man 3 music is also really good. So, we'll see what happens there. Uh, before I go up that ladder, let's go over here. I believe we can actually get, if we're lucky, we can get a knee tank. But we're not, so we're going to get nothing. <laughs> oh boy, sucks to be us. So I guess the next thing I'll talk about is I'll talk about the weaknesses in this game. Like Mega Man 2, they're kind of jumbled up, but not as much. There's actually a chain of five Robot Masters that are each weak to one weapon in a circle. And then there's a mini chain of the other three Robot Masters. And Snake Man is actually part of that mini chain. Top Man and Shadow Man are part of the five chains, so... I think what I'm going to do is, because there's two separate chains, I'm going to uh, 
you know, I'll probably do two from the first chain and then one from the other chain, you know, something like that. Also, I don't feel confident in making this jump, so... Rush, I hope you're going to help me out here. <laughs> Thank you. See, Rush, you're a good dog. I like you, Rush. Rush confirmed. Best video game dog. Although Poochie is a very, very close second. Because Poochie is not stupid. He's not stupid. He ain't stupid. Whatever you want to say. Poochie is Poochie. Also, this is another part that's kind of tricky. I feel like if you stand on these platforms when the clouds come up, sometimes you actually get pushed off. So make sure you jump right before the cloud comes. And that is a dick move. Seriously. Ugh. You see, this is where, in my eyes, it kind of gets to uh, very bad game design when they have stuff like that. I mean, I can understand, like, you know, being patient and waiting to see what's ahead, but I feel like that guy doesn't spawn until you jump. And it just kind of interrupts the flow of platforming, and it's just really, really annoying. I, I freaking hate when Mega Man games do stuff like that. Seriously. It's, uh, pardon my language, but it's just kind of bullshit. I mean, you kind of had this aspect in, uh, Shadow Man's level as well, but at least, like, the enemies were actually above you, at least to start with. He had some time to react. Also, I'm kind of worried, because I'm going to be very low health for Snake Man, and Snake Man is not one of the robot masters I'm great at. And I have zero lives, too. Shoot. <sighs> well, let's, uh, let's see how this goes. I'm hoping I can have some luck. Okay. The good thing about Snake Man is he does have a long period of time where he is just uh, walking away from you and not getting any sort of attacks on you. His main problem is he has a huge freaking hitbox. Ah, dang it. Ah, uh, looks like I'm out the code from the very beginning, so I will be right back, guys. Okay, I made it here with moderately better health this time. Hopefully I can take this guy out. Seriously, I freaking hate this guy so much. One strategy I found is you could try getting hit by the search snakes as opposed to him. Because search snakes, I believe, don't do as much damage. But then sometimes he doesn't do his search snakes at all, which makes it really, really annoying and tough and unpredictable. Okay, there we go. Come on. That should be it. This should be it. Yes! Got him! Thank God. Ugh, jeez. I hate the robot masters of the small mini pattern. The circle of three. They're definitely the hardest in the game for sure. But yeah, by beating Snake Man, we get the Search Snake. Search Snakes are pretty interesting. They're kind of like the lead bubbles of this game. Although they can actually go up walls and ceilings and stuff, which makes them pretty cool. But I'm actually going to go ahead and end this video here. We did some pretty long levels. That's what I kind of like. The levels are a little longer in this game. So, there's a lot more to do. But yeah, this has been Slim Kirby. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys tomorrow when we tackle another batch of Robot Masters. See you then, folks. Later.